to start with this high pier mm -hmm. and see how it is doing. There's still activity in here. Yeah. Those from ants. Really? Little sugar ants. Those are not mites. Mites are mites. Those have two bodies. Yeah, they just start building this frame up. Is that brand new wax moth or is that old? That looks pretty new. There's some wax moth damage. Yeah, this hive is not very strong, so I'm wondering what's going on. So this top is pretty much empty, except for all the wax moth that is living here. I think it's wax moth damage that's really getting them in. I'm going to go ahead. They do. I'm doing the best I can to get rid of it right here, but this is going to go to a different hive. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it just transfer over there and get them sick too? Well, if we put it in strong enough of a hive, they'll just uh, kill it. They're big enough where mm -hmm. the hive will take care of it. Mm -hmm. Looks like, yeah. That's, oh, and I want to smash this little guy. There's hundreds of little guys here, but yeah, this is the problem with uh, not having enough um, bees in a hive. So yeah, this will go to a better hive where they can actually not uh, have so much wax box. And yeah, they definitely weren't able to take care of this box. This is just one too many boxes. to take care of. Looks like too, too many. So we'll just definitely keep them off there, buddy. We're going to keep probably a few of them off here. Um, this one, there's a little bit of wax moth damage, but not too much. Do you want me to set this out there? No. There's fine. I'm just going to get rid of the... See, there's the wax moth right here. I see them. It's okay that we ruin a little bit of comb, like scraping them off and killing them, because that's better than leaving them in there. This hive isn't doing very well, and I think it's kind of because of wax moth. Yeah, I noticed that when I walked up there, it's not coming up the front like the other one. This might be an empty hive. Mm, yeah, it might be. It might just be bees in it. They might have uh, just... Absconded. Yeah. Just left. Yeah, there's a lot of damage, but there's so much uh, good honey here, which is a shame. Hopefully another hive can take over for this. This was our weakest hive, and we didn't well, come this, out here and check it for a while, huh? This was actually a pretty strong hive. Mm -hmm. Well, compared to the other three. Yeah, compared to the two mm -hmm. uh, to our left, mm -hmm. this is a pretty weak hive. But compared to a lot of hives, uh, those two are pretty strong, like extremely strong. I think we should just take these home and like do some, you know, let them 
fake or something this time. I'm going to show them. Okay. If you look, this is uh, what you look for when you see wax moth. It's the, all this, uh, um, all this, uh, um, brood, not brood, but, uh, web. They actually, like, eat and, uh, the, um, comb and build web. Let's see if I can find a little booger. Yep, here he is. This, actually, is that him? That is not him. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can find one that's still at least moving. Yeah. Oh, right here. There's a big, a small guy here trying to hide. This is all the almost to the point where I'd call this a loss and uh, just melt all the wax off of it. They had so much good stuff on here too. It's a shame that they the wax moth took it. Well, probably took over. They couldn't. Uh... Oh, yeah. It's just. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, we're definitely gonna, we might set a few of the better honey frames, like in a different hive, but, uh, well, ne nectar, but this is definitely gonna be something. We're just gonna take home and scrap the uh, comb. There's just too many. You can see, like, they really got as many, um, as much comb as they could, as much, uh, tried to get a queen. Looks like their queen died. Our queen? Yeah. Where did you find her? No. Where that? That's a wax moth. That's what we don't want at all. Yep. Do you want to set these out there first before we? No. Okay. But at least we found it in time that uh, not all the comb was destroyed and it's not like we can't receive any wax. Okay. We at least got that, get that close. But this hive, if you look. Do you want me to move this? Or you want to be setting it on top of here? Yeah. Yeah, this hive is doing amazing. This hive will not get infested by wax moth as easily since there's so many bees here that they can defend the front entrance. And if uh, wax moth gets in and lays her eggs, uh, the bees will um, kill the, um, not the eggs, but the larvae before they cause too much damage. Oh yeah, that's, that's your angry hive. Yep. 
since it has so many queens, so many bees, I mean. Yeah. I'm actually gonna go ahead and smoke this hive. Honey, Good. we're getting honey. And I think this is one of the hives that uh, we took the bottom and put it right on the second. Yeah, you did that last time. Yeah, so. Oh, there was a lot of comb. They have a lot of capped honey. Look at that, mom. Oh, that's nice. Capped uh, pop. Yeah, that's funny. Oh. Oh, yeah. Careful. Look at this. And no brood. A lot of honey, no brood. This is what we want to see. Yep, we want to see a lot of angry ladies hanging around. That is a good thing, actually. Yep. That means we have a good strong hive. Just make sure you're watching for any de de deformed wings and stuff. Yeah. Yep. Okay. They're doing pretty good. They're doing amazing, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next body. See how they're doing here. This is one we might actually put some honey in. I would just leave it as it is, but don't want to mess with a good thing. It's just, it's, it's just a waste of all that uh, honey. Yeah. Yep. So many bees. Pretty good. I'll leave that one in there for right now. I think those were one of the ones that we didn't uh, put any uh, glue on. Oh, mom, look at that side. Oh, that's nice. This Careful, is you're all cut the Yeah, I can't hold it that long. It's heavy. Like one frame of these is like a pound, or 10 pounds, I think. One wow. full frame of honey is about 10 pounds. A little well, bit of brood. We don't want to see brood this high, but it's kind of okay. It's just, uh, there's some, uh, this is mainly uh, drones. Drone brood. Now that's a uh, center frame of amazing brood. Oh, that's another frame of brood. This high up is kind of means that the lower frames uh, have a lot of honey. Oh! They're doing a lot of cross pollination. Yep. Yeah, oh. like that. Uh, what are you going to do with that over here? There we go. That want. should teach them a lesson. Well, you might want to spray off and clean some of this stuff. What stuff? Okay, great. Never mind. Nah. Okay.
no queen yet. You don't want to clean off the tops of those or anything? Nope. Okay. Why? They'll just rebuild them. It's not really worth it. Oh, mm -hmm. that's another side of pretty good foam. Honey. Honey. Well, yeah. This whole thing is a lot of good comb. We'll go, since uh, it's been a few weeks, we'll actually go through and see how they are doing. This is going to be the last box we're going to check. Just want to make sure that uh, there's nothing. Oh, yeah. That's an even better thing, honey. Oh, yeah. But there's some uh, root on this frame. Which is kind of to be expected on the second uh, thing, second box. There's some brew there. Oh, that's an amazing frame of brew. Yeah, it is. That's some ladies. No queen either. No queen caps. No queen either. <laughs> Oh, this is loud. I don't think they're saying very nice things to you, Jacob. Maybe you should tell them to watch their language. Watch your language. They're not listening to me. Probably not. Good bit of honey and brood. A lot of honey and uh, nectar. And pollen. And this is another really uh, bad thing. There's some brood on there. There's some honey. It's a mix of everything. <laughs> I just want to munch the chicken. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to put the brood on the outside. Oh, Queen. Mom. She found her. She's marked, too. Okay, be extra careful with her, then. Yep. So what are you going to do to get her back in? <laughs> oh, it's just that there's a lot. Queen's still there. <laughs> that one's down there. Oh, okay. Wasn't long enough to put it in. So, she's... Somewhat near the center. 
And she has the big thing cushioning her. There we go. Alright, well, are you going to smoke it and put it back together? Yep. Now that you've made him very angry. Not a good time to take your suit off. Yeah, this is the best time to take your suit off when you're beekeeping. Um, just make sure to be very careful about uh, stray bees. Once you make them this angry. And what I said there was sarcasm. Do not take your suit off at this time. Just in case. Only a few dead bees there. All right. I couldn't really smoke. You got something going on with that frame there. It's just up. Oh yeah. It's broken. <laughs> the thing is that uh, these. There we go. It's broken in two places. You might want to take it out. I can. Okay. I'm probably gonna take it out with this whole box okay. when we uh, take out all the honey. Okay. When we harvest the honey. This one we might as well put another box on. Uh, yeah, no, it's already high. Yep. Five is the max I'm willing to go. Okay, if you think that thing won't tip over. It won't. Okay, just not try it. Unless this thing can get more than my body weight, they're trying to push it over so like a bear. Okay, well, let's not put one of these disease ones on there. We'll get a good one out of the truck. I'll hang out here and keep an eye on them. Keep an eye on them? Yes, I'll make sure they don't go anywhere. Uh, you, uh, too late. Thing you got ice cream before you came here, huh? Why? I had tied you over, huh? Yeah. It's gonna be a long one. Can I put that screen on or this one? Doesn't matter really. Okay, so we're going to put a fifth box on here. It's just so unsteady. Are you sure? I am positive. Let's not do that. You're making your mom nervous. Well, okay, sounds good. Looks like the thing is ready. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna head over to here and uh Do you want a lid on that? No. What do you mean no? Nah. Okay. Well, let's be careful. 
careful. That's a, a, I don't. I don't trust five high. Please stop wiggling around like that. Yeah. <laughs> This hive's doing pretty good. Oh, mom. You need to see this. Oh, this side right there. Yeah. This good. is all brand new honey. This is like a textbook perfect frame. Another like textbook perfect frame. This is a well mannered hive. This is another, oh, almost textbook perfect frame. Oh, this is like a perfect. This is like, I, I can't believe how well these guys are doing. Oh, moly. Like this side right here, that is a perfect frame. The hive is like doing very good, but it definitely makes me concerned if you put another one on there, put wax moths again. They're not as angry as the other hive. Yeah. Yeah, this is this hive is doing great. Keep it up. I'm just gonna look uh like this is what you like the perfect hive. Like, they haven't even built any uh, brood in this uh, top here. They haven't even touched it for brood. Ooh. So, we're gonna set this. Oh, uh. Set that up there. I'm gonna set this here. Yeah, that's some pretty good uh, oh, those are the pretty ones. Oh, look at that bee <laughs> was falling down with that. Yeah. These are slightly orange. They look the same as these ones. They have honey uh, wings. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually going to take a little bit of wax in here. You got your little wax ball going on there. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a good frame. It's just up here has... You can grab that. Mm -hmm. 
I'm having that chase after They're mainly wax. Okay. All right. This hive does not have any signs of anything. <coughs> Except for doing good. Okay. Let's put this box back on. It's stuck in there. Okay. Okay. This side we're just going to put uh, completely empty. Uh, this doesn't have any comb in it. Doesn't have any wax in it, so this doesn't have any wax in it, so it'll uh, it won't uh, collect wax moth up here. Open it up first. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. All right. You want me to go find an eight frame? Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, yeah. We'll grab one eight frame from the back of the truck. The one that's not broken. What we'll do is, um, what you want to do is you'll put it here, and then after, yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, move it, um, like during the night. Yeah. Okay. Once all of them are back. Well, I don't know how you want to do this. Um. So set that on the ground. Let's uh, move this up to here. Smashed a few of them. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put this here, that up here. Why oh, have this thing? Huh? All right, there you go. Figure it out. Okay. We made they made sure we put on our reducer. Yeah. The reducer is over there in the grass. Mm -hmm. If you could go grab it, please. In the grass. Right here in front of the hive, right there. I don't know. Okay. Okay. 
And then we need to take about five veins out of this. So, and then, uh, do you mind moving your science experiment here? That's your science experiment. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Just set it on top of that, Dad. Uh, I'll set it over here, they can clean it. Okay. I'll come back for it. I already got the one that cleaned from last time. My phone. We're gonna take everything home tonight. Pretty much. Okay, I stopped. Do you have a hive tool? I do. Okay. I kind of stuck mine in the middle of that uh, box, those boxes over there, and. Well, you know, maybe I don't. Oh. Where would it have gone? I didn't. Oh well. Okay. I'll be darned. You will. Oh, you got to clean in there somewhere. You want the clean to go with the hive. Yep. So this is our first grain. It's mainly honey, so it will go on the outside. This is our second grain. It's mainly uh, room, so it'll go near to the middle. There's a few up here. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, these guys are really needing a new home. This is uh, full of room, mainly. So we'll put it on the other side of the middle, in there. This is mainly blue. Are you looking for your queen? Being careful? She might be on here. She might not. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. It's just in the way. And then this will be our last frame. We're gonna take it out of here. And it's mainly honey. So I'm just gonna put it on this side. It's our last frame. So let's get the smoke. Make them want to leave their home. Yeah. I've got a few bees on me. Let's start uh, smoking. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're smoking your mother. 
see isn't it an effective tool to get people uh, away from you. Yeah, it's not nice. Or bees. everybody in here. I'm going to stop smoking them now, put the top and cover on, and that'll be good for that hive. Um, you wax moth on that? No. Okay. 